At the beginning, I want to give you a short introduction to the Breitenberg vehicle. A Breitenberg vehicle is a simple configured robot which is able to drive autonomously. With some adjustments of the hardware, complicated human similar behaviors can be simulated. These are love, hate, fear and curiosity. Next, I want to describe you the most simple Breitenberg vehicle. Such a vehicle consists of two major parts one sensor and one actuator. Now I want to describe you how the simple Breitenberg vehicle works. When we are using, for example, a light sensor, this sensor controls the actuator directly. This means the brighter it is, the faster the actuator, for example, wheels are driven. It can be said that the vehicle is looking for bright places. A possible extension of the Breitenberg vehicle is the double sensorial Breitenberg vehicle. The hardware effort of this vehicle is that our vehicle now has two sensors and two actuators. According to this extension, the following differences to the simple vehicle are created. Firstly, the actuator can be controlled directly or indirectly proportional by the sensor intensity. Secondly, the interconnection between sensors and actuators can be changed. The last difference is, if we consider the first two points, it is possible to distinguish between the vehicles love, hate, fear and curiosity. Now I want to describe you the first double sensorial Breitenberg vehicle love. The love vehicle has two light sensors. These sensors control the actuators indirectly proportional. The minus at the arrows indicates this. Furthermore, sensor 1 controls actuator 1 and sensor 2 controls actuator 2. Now I want to show you the simulation results with the LEGO MXD robot controlled by the iPhone. The next vehicle is the Curiosity vehicle. The difference to the Love vehicle is that now sensor 1 controls actuator 2 and sensor 2 controls actuator 1. A further possible change is done by the fear vehicle. The connection between sensor and actuators are the same, but now the sensor intensity controls the actuator intensity direct proportional. The plus at the arrows indicates this. Finally, the last vehicle, the hate vehicle. Here sensor 1 controls actuator 1 and sensor 2 controls actuator 2. The difference to the love vehicle is the direct proportional sensor actuator relation.
Thanks for watching the demonstration of the iBreitenberg app. For more information, please visit the website above.